Okay, Gemini, so here is your fucking bonus as per usual. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind my readings are general and may or may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus signs for more insight, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you guys would like to book a personal with me, ask me a question, or just check out my horoscope page, everything that you need will be down in the comment section listed below. So, Gemini's, let's see what's going on with you guys. It says codependency. Addictions are affecting your love life. Children. It says your, your love life is being affected by children. And new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Bottom of the deck, chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about codependency. So codependency can be drugs, you know, alcohol, rock and fucking roll. Anything that you are a little bit too dependent on. It could be money. It could be sex. It could be love. Children. Children are being affect are affecting your love life. Um, the motherfucking kids is always home. You can't never go out, you know, shit like that. It's you know, it's fucking up the groove of things now. I get it. Some of y'all can't help that. Well, I'm just letting you know what the messages is. With this new love here, it seems like all of this may be getting in the way of you having a new romantic partner. Now, with the Queen of Wands being the first card out, somebody finds you extremely attractive, okay? You're a hot babe to this person this person may be corny okay because that was corny um this person finds you very attractive they think you dress nice they think you're very passionate but gemini you're really sad you may look like a bad bitch but you a sad bitch in the inside and what's the problem here you is somebody who you want to share your emotions with that you maybe can't so this may not be this person you may have somebody else on your mind when you meet this person yeah, Page of Swords. It's like, you feel like somebody owes you an apology. Eight of Wands, you're about to get it. Somebody's about to communicate with you. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody, a fire sign may be coming in to apologize to you. Uh, Ace of Pentacles could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus as well. Somebody who's very passionate about you is about to come in and apologize to you. And I feel like they're going to make you a solid, stable offer. Shit, they might make you their wife here with this Queen of Pentacles. Or this can be the, the Queen of Pentacles, who could be a King of Pentacles. Take it how it resonates. Who is coming in with feminine energy, though. So if this is a male, this person's coming in very soft and sweet to offer you some type of emotions because they know they were wrong, okay? Now... Now that means we have to get readings for both persons. So let's see. First, we're going to go a bit deeper into this older person, this person that you've been with. So spirit, please give me some energy for the past person. What is the energy like for this past person? What is the energy like with this past person? The death card, the sun card, and the empress. So you guys were completely done over buried this motherfucker dead and then with the sun card now they're coming back okay they're realizing that you you may have been the one that they could grow with so yeah they're coming your way i feel like your guard is going to be up as it pertains to this person because of whatever might have happened in the past will cause this ending yeah the hangman this situation may cause you to look at them differently whatever that happened in the past let's see yeah you mm. this person's coming in for some attention but i don't feel like it's gonna get off the ground yeah you I, somebody here doesn't want it i feel like either you're gonna turn this person down because you don't like what they're saying or what they're doing. Or this person may come in for attention but hold back from you. With the Six of Cups, they're thinking about you a lot. And that's why they're coming in. They This may be like... Um, um, <sighs> Spirit, help me. This may be closure. Thank you, Spirit. This is closure. That's what I'm getting from this person. Or that's what it's going to wind up being. So let's talk about this new person. 
Spirit, please give me energy for this new person. What's the energy for this new person? Energy for this new person? What is the energy for this new person? The Fool. Could be an Aries. The Chariot. Could be a Cancer. And the Knight of Swords. So this person wants to like start and move on very fast. They want to like start this relationship and just go for it fast as fuck. Okay? This is just like an Aries. This person is already communicating with you and they like you a lot. I feel like they're looking at you like somebody that they could be with. But you're in your head about this. You don't know whether or not you're ready for this. And I feel like this has a lot to do with you just getting out of something. Yeah, Queen of Swords, you're being an asshole. You really don't want this. That's crazy, Gemini. You really don't want this. And with this Ten of Wands, it's heavy trying to communicate and keep up with this person because you're not attracted or, you know, there's not enough chemistry here for you and this person. Ooh, Gemini, that's deep. All right, so let's see what the outcome is. Spirit, please tell me what's the outcome for Gemini and this person and these people. We'll do old and new. What's the outcome for Gemini with this old person? Outcome for Gemini with this old person? Outcome for Gemini and this old person? The two of swords, the three of wands, and the four of wands. You may wind up unexpectedly getting in a relationship with this old person once again. And if you weren't in a relationship, I feel like the indecision is about to go back. It's about to go like out the window. And this person is about to come in from out wherever the fuck they've been at and wind up in a relationship with you. So what's going to happen with this old person? Because clearly... <laughs> The Empress, the Hierophant, Gemini, here y'all go in a third-party relationship. It seems to me like you're not sure about this past person, so you're going to commit to both, okay? You got the Hierophant here for the new person, and you got the Four of Wands here for the old person. You're going to fuck with both. Oh, okay, Gemini, let's see what the advice is. <laughs> what is the advice, Spirit? What is the advice? Advice for Geminis. Nine of Wands. Keep your guard up. Lovers, you need to make a decision on what you want to go towards. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Because I feel like you're going to be scared the whole time because you know your ass about to get caught. You know it. Geminis is not good at cheating. At all. Put the fucking phone down, Gemini. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live motherfucking person. All right. Bye, guys.